Hello, my name is Jason from septictank.co.uk and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. I've been repairing and installing septic tanks and soakaways for about 17 years now. And if you're experiencing septic tank or soak away problems, then I'm really sorry to hear that. But please be rest assured by the end of this video, I'll not only show you why you're experiencing the septic tank problems you're experiencing, but I'll also show you how to fix them and save thousands. To start with, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of short videos which will show you what a septic tank and soak away are, how they work and why they develop the problems you're experiencing. So to start with, here's the first video and it's entitled, What is a septic tank and soak away? So, what is a septic tank and soak away? A septic tank and soak away is an off main sewage system and they're basically designed for properties that are not connected to the mains drainage. And this type of sewage system normally comprises of two components the septic tank and the soak away. Okay, so now we've seen what a septic tank and soak away are, the next video will show you how a septic tank and soak away work. So, how does a septic tank and soak away work? All houses produce wastewater, and this wastewater is made up from things like fat, grease, hair, skin, human waste, toilet paper, etc. And this waste comes from showers, from baths, from sinks, toilets, and washing machines. The wastewater leaves the property and enters into the septic tank. Once the wastewater enters the septic tank, the septic tank then fills up until the wastewater reaches the outlet pipe. The wastewater then exits via the outlet pipe from the septic tank towards the soak away. And once it reaches the soak away, the wastewater then enters the soak away pipes. Once the wastewater enters the soak away pipes, it then soaks or drains away naturally into the topsoil. That's the basic function of how a septic tank and soak away work. Okay, so we've seen what a septic tank and soak away are. We've seen how a septic tank and soak away work. Now, the next short video we're going to watch explains the most important process that can happen and happens within a septic tank and soak away. And it's this process that determines whether your septic tank and your soak away will actually work properly. And this video is entitled, The Amazing Bacteria Process. Good bacteria naturally occur and live inside most septic tanks. And this good bacteria eat and break down all the waste inside the septic tank. As the bacteria break down the waste, the waste is then converted into sludge. And over time this sludge slowly falls down and builds up on the bottom of the septic tank. This is a sign of a really healthy septic tank system. And that's why every 12 months or every year, your septic tank needs emptying or desludging. Typically, it costs about 100 to 200 pound a time to get your septic tank emptied. Okay, so what have we seen so far? Well, we've looked at what a septic tank and a soak away are. We've seen how a septic tank and a soak away work. 
We've looked at the amazing bacteria process that goes on inside the septic tank and it's that process that keeps a septic tank alive and working healthy. So why do problems develop with a septic tank and a soak away? For example, why do septic tanks smell? Why does the soak away become blocked? Why do we have to keep getting our septic tanks emptied more and more frequently? Why do septic tanks overflow? Well, the next video will answer those questions for you. So, why do septic tanks develop problems? Well, septic tanks have a common enemy. Cleaning products. You see, cleaning products such as bleach, toilet cleaners, washing powder, dishwasher tablets, soap and shampoo, etc. They kill septic tanks. How? Well, basically it's the chemicals in the cleaning products that are the problem. You see, these chemicals kill the good bacteria that keep a septic tank alive. And it's these chemicals in the cleaning products that cause two main problems. Problem one, these chemicals are the main reason why a septic tank will smell. You see, once a good bacteria in the septic tank dies, the ecosystem inside the septic tank also dies. And once the ecosystem's dead, it means that this waste inside the septic tank can't be treated or broken down anymore. So this dead waste just starts to quickly build up on the bottom of the septic tank and then it starts to fester and rot. And once that starts to happen, gases are then released from this waste. And it's these gases that are the bad smells that come up through the pipes that lead to the drains, the sinks and the manhole covers. And these smells are the first symptom of a dead septic tank. Okay, so now we've seen why septic tanks smell. So what can we do to remove the smells from septic tanks and prevent them from ever smelling again? Well, at this point, people normally have two options. Option one, they can completely stop using household cleaners. Well, for me, that's not a realistic or a viable option. Why not? Well, because household cleaners such as bleach and floor cleaner and toilet cleaner and washing up powder, uh, etc., um, are a protection. They act as a barrier against the spread of disease. So they protect us and our families against catching disease. Other people think that if they buy septic tank friendly products from the supermarket, that will help. But in reality, it doesn't because all household cleaning products have got some form of chemicals in them. It's just some household cleaners will kill the bacteria in septic tank quicker than others. So that's why for me, um, stop use, to stop using household cleaning products isn't a realistic option. Okay, so option two, septic tank emptying. Many people feel that by getting their septic tank emptied, this will fix the problem. Well, it won't fix the problem long term. Why do I say that? Well, for two reasons. Reason number one, yes, it's true that when you get the septic tank man in, he's going to suck out and empty the septic tank of all the grease, the fat and the sludge and all the stagnant wastewater. But within a few days, the septic tank's going to fill up again with that stagnant wastewater. It's then over the next few weeks and the next few months, it's going to fill up with that fat, the grease and the sludge again. And because the household cleaning products have killed the bacteria, the ecosystem inside the septic tank, that waste can't be treated and broken down into safe, clean, organic matter. And so the whole thing, the whole wastewater inside the septic tank is going to fester and stagnate and stink again. So you're back in the same boat. And the second thing is, if you imagine it costs about 100 to 200 pounds a time to get your septic tank emptied. So if you're having to get it emptied once every month or once every two or once every three months to get rid of the smells, the cost is soon going to add up. So that's why getting your septic tank emptied, for me, is not a viable option. 
Option three is an amazing solution that will not only remove your septic tank smells and prevent them from happening again, it'll also show you how to protect your septic tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products. So, how can you remove septic tank smells? Good bacteria have been around for thousands and thousands of years, converting rotting waste into safe, clean organic matter. Septic tank fertilizer is an incredible safe, clean, natural and organic solution. Septic tank fertilizer will not only completely and utterly remove all the smells from your septic tank within a few hours, it will also prevent them from ever happening or occurring again. But not only that, this, this septic tank fertilizer will completely and utterly protect your septic tank from the harmful effects of the chemicals that are found in the household cleaning products that we use every day. The next video is going to show you how to get the septic tank fertilizer into your septic tank. It'll also show you how it works. So, step one. Drop a soluble sachet into the toilet. Once the soluble sachet hits the water, it'll then start dissolving really quickly, usually in about 15 to 30 seconds. As it dissolves, it will then release millions and millions of bacteria and enzymes into the water. Step 2. Flush the toilet. All the bacteria and enzymes will then get flushed down the loo. From there, all the bacteria will then leave the toilet and make their way down the pipes to the septic tank. As the bacteria and enzymes make their way to the septic tank, they'll clean all the scum and the fat and the grease that line these pipes. And very quickly, they'll then enter the dead septic tank. And once they're there, they'll very quickly get to work. They'll start breaking down that waste, that dead waste in the septic tank. They'll completely and utterly remove all the smells that came up through the drains. And they'll totally clean the septic tank, reviving it and bringing it back to life once again. Septic tank fertilizer removes smells. It protects septic tanks from cleaning products. It revives dead systems. It's organic, safe and easy to use. And it'll save you thousands in repair and emptying costs.